Okay then, Marines, loads to go through today as the game has launched as of three hours ago at the point of recording and the numbers are rising rapidly. It's so nice to see so many of you Marines joining the ranks every second, but we've got loads to go over. Apparently, some of you guys who have bought your collector's editions struggling to find your key, we're going to help you with that one, as well as a hot fix that managed to get issued just as the game was launching that's fixed some issues on pc that you may have been struggling with we're also going to talk about something quite hot topic and for you bulwarks if you guys are sticking around you're going to have an awesome piece of information to keep you alive that you may not have even known existed with that being said let's see what's going on if you haven't already smash the beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe post notifications turned on be greatly appreciated and make sure you enter the giveaway stick a blue love heart in the comment section and show you love to the marines and you'll be entered in for a free copy of the game announced this weekend second copy we've given away in the last two weeks nonetheless let's see what it is that's going on here starting off that's right your pledge is eternal service and the game is now available via pc xbox and ps5 so damn exciting that the game is now officially launched and we have got to go into everything that the game has to offer but if you guys are struggling to get your hands on your code that you apparently had bought through the collector's edition there is two ways that you guys can do it for those of you who have got your focus account to purchase the product and for those of you who have purchased the product as a a guest obviously if you're having the issues this is the really quick run through feel free to pause it at this point but we don't want to dive on it into that one any deeper hopefully it helps you if you are struggling next up though a small hotfix had been pushed out to pc this is a minor patch to help alleviate server load on this platform another hotfix will add some stability improvements to the planned point at both console and pc and this is a really really interesting one as this came out just before the game had actually launched and this right here is the day one patch that had fixed the cpu heat issue apparently there's so much that this thing seems to have done but for those of you who were just wondering i no longer need to disable process and performance boost mode just downloaded a 1.5 gigabyte update and i can now use it again hitting 90 plus frames per second on ultra without temps passing 70 degrees and the comments on it are stating that they are all in agreement with it and they're no longer having that massive overheat that was coming from the cpu obviously this is quite a cpu heavy game and it has been causing people quite some issues especially with the frames and causing for some glippy moments as well as some overheating cpus which is never ever good on top of that for those of you guys who have now got in and obviously as you know we are moving in to the season one movement for this right here a lot of you guys are wondering what's going on with the ultramarines cosmetic pack this thing is a bit of an interesting one or at least the way that it looks like it is is a bit of an interesting one there's not really much going around on the internet about it and it has been quite a difficult thing to sort of dig up information on because it's not very well pointed out inside of the game itself but there there is a DLC option inside of your actual cosmetics table on the battle barge where you guys will obviously make all your edits towards your characters so on and so forth it does unlock the ultramarines cosmetic pack but it doesn't actually enable you to obtain them you then have to actually unlock all of them using the in-game currency wasn't really what I thought it was going to be apparently this is something that's going around not too much hype on it mainly because there's again not too much hype on it <laughs> it's just one of those but you guys can obviously go ahead and unlock those via the dlc motive bit of a annoyance to say the least considering we don't get anything really substantial until around season two which is going to be coming at some point later on in this year with new pve missions as at the moment we do have only the six now apparently there is one more coming in although on the year one battle plan it purely states new pve missions as in plural so i would like to hope that there are a few more coming in because for me personally that pve missions are probably going to become quite a lackluster quite quickly and going to cause a little bit of a longevity issue if you don't agree with the pvp part of the game but let me know what you guys are thinking of the game right now and have you been in pvp do you like it yes or no because if not i think this game may well be an enjoyment for a few weeks and a return at season two but on top top of that people have had conversations because apparently there is a balance issue and people are talking about a lot with regards to it this one post right here states please saber interactive for the love of the emperor do not go 
the Helldivers 2 route and start nerfing popular weapons for quote unquote balance. The Las Fusual is an amazing weapon. For those unaware, Helldivers 2 is an extremely successful launch because the game fulfilled the power fantasy and what it feels to be a Cadian Guardsman. Sure, you died a lot, especially since there's friendly fire, but the weapons were awesome and the airstrikes were awesome and killing bug spots had never felt so good. For some weird reason though, Arrowhead decided that popular weapons broke the game's meta and would routinely nerf them. What's the big deal, you ask? Well, the big deal is that the players were using the popular weapons because the rest of the weapons sucked. But instead of buffing the bad weapons, they hit a nerf on the good ones to be bad. And then they buffed the enemies because it's just been an absolute shit show all the way around. That makes absolutely no sense and it's one of the major reasons why Helldivers 2 went from being a beloved video game to having a 60 day we've gotta fix the game roadmap. I've been at loving the sniper class simply because of how effective the last fusual is it makes me feel like i'm actually making a difference in the battle instead of shooting a bb gun at a freight train now obviously the conversation behind that one has been a little bit skeptical although somebody made up a very valid statement right here stating the major difference that you're completely overlooking is that the last fusion is available to only one class and for pve content you can't run duplicate classes this isn't a case of x weapon is really strong so everyone runs it and snipers couldn't be considered meta outside of the two highest difficulties were burst damage in important to deal with sentry reliability from a pv perspective the game is remarkably well balanced in terms of classes with the exception of assault which is hot garbage and it is it really is but it's not hot garbage in a way that you guys would think it's hot garbage mainly in its life capacity the thing itself i've been running it from the get-go we've managed to get it up to a decent level it runs quite a decent damage output works really really well and i really enjoy the jetpack alongside all of the other damage outputs that you can have although for some reason this thing is just an absolute melter some things can hit me in two hits and just get taken out straight away so we've been making our way towards the bulwark but why are we using the bulwark you may ask well actually very easy answer for that one this one right here i actually managed to find on open world games he posted up this right here another tip for bulwark i found out last night that you can drop your banner which gives you full contested health if you set it up where an enemy is in a execution state drop your banner on him execute and voila you have full hp with out any stims so you can let your teammates get all the stims in the mission super late game level 23 with a perk this will also work for teammates too now this is absolutely incredible and the main reason for this one is stims come very few and far anyway and the ones that you do find are group shared meaning that only one out of three of you can pick that one up it's not loot found for individual players which means that you are going to suffer for a health diminishing aspect so the fact that the bulwark can do this will mean that a bulwark will want to be in every single team going now a lot of you have been messaging me asking things about player base and so on and so forth and what it is actually looking like right now and it's actually a really difficult one to try and manage right now we don't have any numbers from the xbox or from the playstation but what we do have is nearly a quarter of a million players just playing on steam alone and that number is growing every time you refresh the page so as to what it is we are absolutely clueless my expectation would probably be at around 600 to 700 thousand players right now or at least the insights are looking to be that way a decent number when it comes to a space marine game it does seem to have been at the top format although right now what we are struggling with is cheaters yeah we're not going to give this one very much attention but we are going to give it enough to make sure that you guys are wary cheaters right now have just been released hopefully the anti-cheat gets these dung noodles banned from the multiplayer and fingers crossed that is something that we actually do see because cheats like this is absolutely ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous there is a health cheat in there there's also going for a grenade cheat which means that they are literally just pumping grenades out left right and center it's absolutely mental now actually getting past that and just moving into the comments that you guys hit on the last video this first one here made me laugh tenfold here i come with my smurf marine brothers for the emperor what an absolute legend there is nearly 50 likes on this one and definitely by no means is there enough the second comment that we have right here is health reg on execution 
wouldn't be the end of the world and more ammo reserves or around on higher difficulties. I don't mind enemies being difficult or less med packs being around. I do mind being a bulwark running out of ammo on my pistol and one of those flying terminators showing up and I literally can't do anything to him. Yeah, that is definitely a problem because some of these space marines, for those of you guys who don't know, are limited to just one pistol as a primary weapon. No usage on an assault rifle or any sort of bolt rifle or anything like that. It's just the pistol and the melee weapon, which is not seeming to work too well with that regard. So we need some more ammo pushes as well by the sounds of it. But that's all unfortunately we've got time for today. There is so much going on inside of this game right now and it's such a hype and I absolutely love every second of it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We are going to be live for the next four days running all on Twitch. We've got so much content to go over and I can't wait to share it with you. If you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe, post notifications turned on. Appreciate your faces and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.